for the second running of the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series Daytona 500. Hello everyone, I am Ryland Webb, the creator, promoter, and host of the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series, and we are back and better than ever for a second season of the Coca-Cola Cup Series. One of the most anticipated races in the schedule has finally arrived and a new era has begun for the series. So many changes have been made to make this season one of the best. From the transition into the new NASCAR Next Gen cars and to the new and improved roster. So many drivers have arrived for their first race and some of them have stayed for another season. Most of them may not return for season three, but we'll get to that later. It is an exciting day as so many fans and YouTube viewers are ready to see these drivers return to action in a very long time. So many drivers in the field are ready to go racing in the new NASCAR Next Gen cars. But the question is, will these cars change how the drivers will race later on today? The field is looking amazing with these all new paint schemes. But we're not going to waste any more time. For the first time in Season 2, let's look at your Mountain Dew driver headlines for today's race. I said earlier that the roster has changed significantly, but that goes for the 45 of Tyler Reddick. He is the pole sitter in his first race with his new team, 2311 Racing. Reddick feels confident going into this race, and he looks to make things change for 2311 Racing. He currently has zero wins in the Coca-Cola Cup Series career. He's driving the 45 car and his new team, 2311 Racing and his former team was Richard Childress Racing, where he drove the eight car for that team. He is starting first. Brad Kozlowski in the six car. He's going into this race as last year's Daytona 500 winner, where he turned Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, and William Byron to get the win for RFK Racing in his second year. Kozlowski wants to become a two-time winner here at Daytona. He starts 14th place with only one win in his Coca-Cola Cup Series career. And coming up next, we have, hold on, it's about to come up here, the 22 of Joey Logano, the reigning and defending Coca-Cola Cup Series champion. He won the playoff race at Daytona last year and wants to have the same result here today for the second time. He's driving for Team Penske once again in the 22 car with three wins in his career. And he is starting in second place here today. And we are just about to get ready for the race. And will these drivers get the victory here at Daytona? But now, without further ado, let's hear the command to start the engines here at Daytona. It feels so good to hear those engines roar as the command has just been given to all these drivers. We are officially back and better than ever for season two of the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series. Which one of these drivers will become the 2024 Daytona 500 champion? And now it is time for the Domino starting lineup for today's race. In row one, on the outside, it is the 22 of Joey Logano, the season one NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series champion. And alongside him, on the inside, is pole sitter Tyler Reddick in the 45. And in row two, we have the 24 of William Byron, and on the inside is the 23 of Bubba Wallace. Coming up on row three, we have the one car of Ross Chastain and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Ross Chastain moving from the 42 car and into the one car for this year's season. He will start right next to Hamlin on the outside. In row four, we have the eight car of Kyle Busch and on the inside, the 20 of Christopher Bell. Kyle Busch, he moved all the way from Joe Gibbs Racing in the number 18 car to now with Richard Childress Racing in the eight car. In row five, we have the nine car of Chase Elliott and making his debut in the NASCAR Cold Cold Cup Series, it is the 42 of Noah Gregson on the inside. 
And on row six, we have the 41 of Ryan Priest on the outside. And on the inside, Corey LaJoy in the number seven car. Ryan Priest is also making his debut in this race as well. And in row seven, we have the six car, the Daytona 500 champion from season one, Brad Kozlowski in the six car. And on the inside is the five car of Kyle Larson. In row 8, we have the 48 of Alex Bowman, and making his debut on the inside, the 84 car, 7-time NASCAR champion in reality, Jimmy Johnson, making his debut for the series. And in row 9, the four, uh, 54 of Ty Gibbs, he is also making his debut in the series, and he's alongside the 10 of Eric Almirola. And in row 10, we have the 18 of John Hunter Nemechek making his debut and replacing Kyle Busch. And on the inside, it is the four car of Kevin Harvick, who is making his final and second season in the Coca-Cola Cup Series. And in row 11, we have the three car of Austin Dillon and the 17 of Chris Buescher. And coming up on row 12... We have the 14 of Chase Briscoe and the 19 car of Martin Truex Jr. And now as we're going to move along to row 13, let's see if we can get it right here. And it is the 12 car of Ryan Blaney and also with his teammate Austin Sindrick in the number 2 car. Now coming up on row 14. It is the 43 car of Eric Jones, and alongside him on the inside, it will be the 34 of Michael McDowell in row 14. And now coming up on row 15, and look at this, it is the 91 car of Shane Van Gisbergen, the New Zealand Supercar driver who is making his debut after replacing Kimi Raikkonen from Trackhouse Racing, and alongside him was the 21 of Harrison Burton. And in row six, we have the six car of AJ Allmendinger and the 99 of Daniel Suarez. And now coming up on row 17, we have the 62 making his debut, Austin Hill. And alongside him on the inside is the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And now we're going to go on to row 18. We have the 50 of Kaz Grala and the 51 of Matt Crafton, two drivers who are also making their debut in the series. And then in row 19, we have the 15 making his debut, Riley Herbst, and alongside him, a lot of driver changes along with uh, Zane Smith in the 38 on the inside. And then on the final row of the Daytona 500, we have the 77 of Ty Dillon and the 31 car of Justin Haley. And we are about to start racing here for the Daytona 500 as the drivers are going through the pace laps. And we are just about ready to go as we get the one to go to restart here for the Daytona 500. And as I said it before, it feels so good to be back in action for the Coca-Cola Cup Series. Drivers are going down the back straightaway as we are ready to begin a new era of the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series into three and four. But now the pace truck going down pit road. Green flag is in the air and the NASCAR season two Daytona 500 is underway. Season 2 for the Coca-Cola Cup Series is underway as the first lap is just passed by with the 45 car of Tyler Reddick, the pole sitter, taking the lead down the back straightaway with Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, and Kyle Busch as they're going out onto lap 3. And the fans are excited to see the drivers racing in the new next-gen cars and you love to hear the engines roar once again. And now... Coming on to three and four, Redick is still your leader. But wait a minute, here comes the nine car. Wait, here comes the 22. Joey Logano takes the lead. But wait a minute, the nine car steals the lead away from Joey Logano. My goodness, two lead changes in one lap. As now, Chase Elliott is still your leader, followed by Bubba Wallace, William Byron, and Noah Gregson. Oh my goodness, there are three wide everywhere, right behind the leaders. 
going down. The oh! Austin Cedric spins around. So does Harrison Burton. Caution has come out here at Daytona. First caution of the day. Two car pile up for uh, Wood Brothers Racing, Harrison Burton, and Team Penske's Austin Cedric. Caution has come out. And now, for the first time of season two, here's the Pepsi Crash replay. So look at this, they are three wide all over. And you can see the 34 of Michael McDowell turning the two car of Austin Sindrick. And then Sindrick just comes onto the track, spinning around, causing him to hit the 21 of Harrison Burton. And that causes them to hit onto the, I believe the outside wall on back straightaway, I think so. But now is where taking a look at it once more you can see him bouncing off of the wall and then just coming up on the track that is a very unlucky spot for 21 of Harrison Burton to be there wrong place wrong time for Harrison Burton and Austin Sindrick as well so these two have brought out the caution here but we're about to go and see if these two drivers are okay first caution of the day here for the season two race of the Daytona 500 and what a great start we just witnessed here. And we saw so many action-packed moments. Well, not many, but we've seen action-packed moments already from this race. And now, as you can see on the screen, there's Austin Sindrick checking on Harrison Burton. And thank goodness that the AMR safety team was able to check on these drivers, as they always do, keeping our drivers safe. So, Sindrick and Burton talking it out on what happened during that situation right there. So, once again, we are under caution from Austin Sindrick and Harrison Burton causing the wreck here at Daytona. So, while uh, everything's going to be cleaned up from this accident here on the back straightaway of the Daytona 500, the drivers will restart. Do not go anywhere as we'll continue with more action for Season 2 of the Coca-Cola Cup Series as we go NASCAR non-stop. Driver's ready! Hey, hey, wait, whoa. What are we racing for anyway? For fun? How about let's race for a Coke? Go! Out the road, buddy. Perfect. Come on. Got some horsepower, Bobby. Come on, DJ, get out of the way. Going down, Walter. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. No problem. Oh! I just wrecked in turn five. Last lap. Nice race, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kevin, we need you in the pits. Oh, dang. Sorry about your little car, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> As you saw it on NASCAR non-stop, the drivers have just gone on to pit road and they are about to restart. As you see the 9 car and the 22, they are going to lead the field as the pit stop has shaken up the field for this restart here. It's going to be Elliott, Logano, Hamlin, Gregson and others will lead the field back to the green flag as the 22 of Joey Logano will take the lead. Now, here comes the nine car, Chase Elliott. He's gonna take the lead away from Joey Logano as they're going down to lap nine. Just a few laps left here at Daytona International Speedway. And now they're going down the back straightaway. As you can see, the field getting just a little bit separated, but not too much. As now going down on the back straightaway once more. Elliot's your leader. Oh, we got trouble. We got a big crash. Big crash on the back straightaway. A huge wreck involving so many cars on lap nine. Caution has come out here at Daytona International Speedway. Oh my goodness, what just happened? So many cars are involved. Michael McDowell, Bubba Wallace, Byron, Larson, Gregson. Who else was in? I don't know. But we're going to check it out on the uh, Pepsi Crash replay. And now as we're going to take a look on the different camera angle, oh my goodness, and the 24 William Byron just, hold on, I thought I saw someone on the catch fence, we'll get back to that in a second, but Noah Gregson got turned 
by the 24 of William Byron. And now as you saw, it, Ross Chastain is in it, uh, Tyler Reddick is in it, uh, Tyler Reddick, the pole sitter, and he was the leader momentarily from the beginning of the race. Sadly, he is out, and there's Bubba Wallace and Michael McDowell. Wait, oh yeah, I saw it, wait, wait, wait. Let's, uh, let's forward out the footage. Wait, okay, slowing it down. Oh, oh my goodness. The catch fence on the back straightaway must have got destroyed by the back bumper of Noah Gregson's car. And I forgot to mention that Noah Gregson just f almost barrel rolling his car, but not too much right there as Gregson hitting the catch fence on the back straightaway has caused the caution to come out, or the big one has caused the caution to come out. I'm being told that they are going to fix the catch fence. Hold on. So, so many drivers are out of the race. Ross Chastain, Noah Gregson, Tyler Reddick, the pole sitter. Sadly, the pole sitter was not able to finish the race. There is Noah Gregson being walked out by the AMR safety team after being collided into that catch fence. There was Bubba Wallace and Michael McDowell. There's Cole Custer. And thank goodness that the AMR safety team was able to keep some of these drivers safe. And I'm also told that some of the drivers, um, they're on the side of each other's cars. They can barely even get out because like, you can see Kyle Larson and William Byron stuck on each other's side as they were wrecking onto back straightaway and into three and four here at Daytona. And uh, wait, okay, all right, all right. I'm being told right now that the red flag has come out here at Daytona International Speedway, mainly because of the big one, but also because of the catch vents being exploded from Noah Gregson's car. As you can see, we got people over on the back straightaway trying to fix the catch vents, but we also got a lot of people on three and four trying to fix the big one. And now, the red flag has officially come out on lap nine, which is only three or four laps to go here at Daytona International Speedway. And you can see all the cars being stopped on the track. Elliott, Logano, Hamlin, LaJoy, Harvick, Johnson, Bush, Bell, so many of them. And now, all these drivers are just waiting to see if they can get back to green very quickly. But now, uh, very big crash that has happened here on the back straightaway and into three and four here at Daytona International Speedway. We're going to take a quick break, but thankfully, the uh, safety team will get all of this done and we can go back to racing. You're watching the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Welcome back to the Season 2 race of the Daytona 500 as we have just cleaned up all the carnage that has just happened from the big one as all the drivers are about ready to go back to racing and we will have two laps of racing a two lap overtime finish as now the drivers are being left off of the back straightaway led by the pace truck but now after everything has been cleaned up, we will decide who will win the 2024 Season 2 Daytona 500. And now, who is going to win the race as we have the 9 of Chase Elliott and the 22 leading the field back to the green flag. 
Two laps to go here at the Daytona 500. Here they come, down the back straightaway. Elliott takes the lead, but here comes Hamlin. They make contact. The 11 car taking the lead away from Elliott. White flag in the air. Here they come, down the back straightaway. Kyle Busch is in second place. Will he make a move? He tries to do it, but it's not going to be enough. Denny Hamlin is going to win the 2024 Season 2 Daytona 500. He got it! Yeah! Unbelievable finish as the 11 car of Denny Hamlin winning the race for Joe Gibbs Racing. What a way to start Season 2 of the Coca-Cola Cup Series as we just saw an amazing finish from the 11 car, being a last lap pass for the lead. Kyle was trying to make a move, but it wasn't enough as the 11 of Denny Hamlin wins here at Daytona for the Daytona 500. But now for the first time in season two, here's the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar big move of the race. It was a big last lap pass for the win. As you saw the 9 car and the 22 leading the field, Logano doesn't get enough help from Corey LaJoy as the 4 car of Kevin Harvick pushes 11 to the lead, but 9 of Chase Elliott tries to stop him. But the 11 car was able to pass with Kyle Busch in second and Eric Almarola in third. And now Kyle tried to make a move, trying to pass Hamlin, but it wasn't enough as Denny Hamlin wins the 2024 Daytona 500. Denny Hamlin will burn it down here at the Daytona International Speedway as the second ever driver to win the Daytona 500 for the Coca-Cola Cup Series. What an amazing race here today. Denny Hamlin wins it for Joe Gibbs Racing as Kyle Busch is in second, Eric Almirola in third, Shane Van Gisbergen. What a race for him as he finished fourth place. Kevin Harvick in his final season and his second season of the NASCAR Cold Cold Cup Series. He finishes very well in this race. And now here's the rest of the field. What an amazing race once again. Very great race from all these drivers. A lot of great, or a lot of great drivers have done really well, even the ones who have debuted as well. And also, we would like to thank the AMR safety team for keeping all of our drivers safe from all these accidents that we've been having on track. But Denny Hamlin getting the huge win here at Daytona 500. As he's in victory lane, carrying the trophy and the Coca-Cola statue. And now Denny Hamlin, the winner of the race, being represented by Rodco Racing. Denny Hamlin has got redemption on his hands as he was barely, he was barely close to winning the championship after he got pushed into the wall by Joey Logano in the season one championship at Atlanta. So here's the rest of the field from the top 10. Kyle Busch in the eight car. He did really well here today with his new team, Richard Childress, Shane Van Gisbergen, the New Zealand supercar driver. What a race for him. Kevin Harvick, as I said it again, this is his final and second season of the Coca-Cola Cup Series, and this is his final Daytona race. Chase Elliott, he did very well here today as well. But now our next race, we will be at the all new Coca-Cola Raceway. More details will be revealed soon about this new track for the second race of the Coca-Cola Cup Series. Thank you guys so much for watching today's race. And we thank you guys so much for watching this race. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the NASCAR Coca-Cola Racing Network. I'm Ronald Webb, and we will see you guys next time. Signing off from Daytona. This stop motion video was based on the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing and does not intend to insult or offend anyone in particular with the sport. All videos, songs, and images are owned by their respectful sources. The NASCAR Coca-Cola Racing Network would like to thank you all for the support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.